life. I have good days and bad days. We only get one. Just a lot of emptiness in my heart. And we may never know when it'll end. Just didn't work out the way we planned. It was a seemingly perfect day. Two years ago, the air was cool, the water was a little rough, but Roy May had set out to fish with his brothers. Everything was going good till we got out there and the motor just wouldn't run anymore. It just went dead on us and went crying. So the boat drifted faster and faster. And he got down where that rough water come out of the lake was and uh, there just wasn't nothing they could do. We drifted all the way to number one gate up here when the water took us under and it just disintegrated the boat. Roy, Gene, and James were gone. Lower side of Kentucky Dam, assist search and rescue operation. Several area rescue crews searched the outer banks and near the dam, battling the rough waters and cold temps. Three, two, zero. All the while, underwater, Roy was fighting his own battle. Well, while I was down there, I heard a couple of voices speaking to me. The first voice was telling me, it said, uh, you can forget everything up above. I said, you got nothing up there no more. I said, everything up there you had is gone. I said, you're down here now. I said, you got a mouthful of water. Why not make it easy on yourself? Take a little more water. You can fight it if you want to, but you're not going to make it. And then this other boy spoke, said, you still got your family up there. What are you going to do? He said, please forgive me, Father. Please help me. And from that time on, I started trying to dog paddle, I guess you'd call it. Roy was rescued nearly 100 yards from where he went in. There's no reason I could have made it. I mean, there's no way I could make it on my own. I can't swim one thing. Life. It's just God's grace that I'm here to tell this story. His brothers, not so lucky. I never thought it in my mind at one time that I'd lose my brothers that day. James was found two weeks later, but there was no sign of Gene. It was one of the nicest days we had that year. Until two years later. I just walked right up on it. When life brought Keith Peak to the outer banks of the Tennessee River to arrowhead hunt. I never even stopped there. When I drove by it in my boat, something just told me to go over there and down there with And I almost pulled right up to it. Buried halfway in the sand, human remains. That's a miracle they found him. Two years and 26 days later. Of course, I still have the emptiness spots in my heart for them. And Those may never heal. Oh yes, I miss them terribly. But life must go on for Roy. It's such a relief to know that they're there by my arms.